Yo, what's going on guys? It's Alberta Fingers. Um, today I'm going to be reviewing the Quattro Spicy Mold Fingerboard Deck. Okay, let's get started. Um, I got this off Flatface um, for $25, I believe. A uh, really good price, considering this is a pretty good deck. Um, it has really good pop. Pop my tricks really good. Oh, shitty. Fuck. Um, but yeah, the bottom ply, mine, if you really look at it, it's kind of a two tone. Not really, though. But, like, it does have different shades on it. It's hard to look at. But, yeah, it, I'd consider this exotic because it, it, I, I really like it. It's really nice. And um, the lacquering, it's really nice. Like, as you can see right there, the shine is really good. But, um, as you might be able to, actually, no, I'll show you a little. Actually, maybe yeah, I might as well show you right now. As you might be able to see, the side is all, look, there's no lacquer on the sides, and there was, there never was, and then it's just nice and shiny on the bottom, so, and even though I have tape on here, there wasn't any on the top either, so they literally only lacquered the bottom ply, which caused a bit of problem, because... I don't know if my camera is going to focus on this, but as you can see, the edges on the bottom are kind of banged up. And like right there, as you can see, yeah, the lacquer is chipping away because it doesn't go all the way around the deck. And that's kind of a disappointment, you know. Like if they, if Quattro lacquered their whole deck, I think it could have made it so much better. But, um,. Otherwise, it's like a really good deck. I mean, um, dimensions, uh, medium to deep concave, pretty nice. Can't really see with the tape on, but whatever. Uh, the kicks are a little steep, but like steeper than something I would usually ride. But I got used to this really quick, and it's what I've been using. Regularly, regularly for a while now. Can't do an alley tray. Um, but yeah. And. Huh. That's really all I have to say about the deck. Uh, yeah, that's probably the only flaw I can think of. Is the lacquering. I think they need to improve. Not on the job. I mean, on the bottom it's magnificent. It was even nicer when I got it, obviously, but, but yeah, I think they should start lacquering the sides and the top, because, uh, that would make the deck look nicer, and, you know, the lacquer would be more durable. So that's it, that's my review on the Quattro Spicy Mold Fingerboard. Uh, you can get these at flatfacefingerboards.com, and... I don't know if that's it or not. I didn't really do my research. But that's where I got mine. $25. Really good price for a good fingerboard. Considering, you know, Berlin graphics are like 45 nowadays. Just fucking crazy. But, um, yeah. That's my review. Peace out.